Hey, how's it going everybody? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we are going over how to install the Fluent GTK theme on Linux. So to start off, you need to open up the link in the description and scroll down and find the download link. And the download link is right here under Downloading Fluent. And go to Files and you can choose the version you'd like. Let's grab the dark version. Now once Fluent is done downloading, we need to open up a terminal, move into the download directory, and install the unzip command. Pretty sure I already have it, but I will do just in case. No, I already have it installed, okay. Once that's installed, we can unzip our files. So I've got acrylic dark, so I need to copy the acrylic dark command here. As we see, it has created a folder called acrylic dark. Now we can install it in two different ways once this is all extracted. We can install it in single user mode, which is what I will do, which means that only my user account has access to it. You can also do system wide, which means that every user, no matter what, has access to it. But let's do single user. I'm just going to make sure I'm in here. From here, I'm going to make a new folder called themes. And after that, I'm going to move the file into the themes folder. So we're going to move the Windows 10 acrylic dark file. Now I have this little star here because that covers both folders. So no matter what, you'll be able to move it. You can just move it with the move command and then we can do ls themes and we see acrylic dark is now in here. Now once it's installed we can also confirm another way with this command here. We can see yes this is installed. Now once everything is installed we can open up our themes settings and uh, we can see Windows 10 acrylic dark is here. Now I have enabled it. Now my menu looks a little different from the screenshot, but that's only because I'm using a custom menu system. But we see, if I was using icons, like a, I could probably switch to it if I wanted to, but this is intended to be made look as close to Microsoft Windows 10 as possible. If you were to go through and customize it and set up icons only, you could probably make it look even closer. And if you installed the official icon theme and all that. but as it stands, this is what it looks like. I think it looks pretty nice, very dark and uh, flat, just like the Windows 10 theme. Maybe not something I'm going to stick with, but I'm sure if you are looking for something that looks a little bit like Windows 10, you're going to like this theme. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.